Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. If you find yourself in a position like me because you're a dumbass or not, I totally just backed into my garage and I had a bag hanging off of one of my shelves and for about three times now, I have hit it until I was backing in just a minute ago and I heard it hit and I was like, what happened? Because I pulled them out to put these, uh, or I pulled the car out to put my AVS vent shades on I got for my birthday. I am not happy with how jagged, jagged these uh, cuts are. Look at this crap. And then look at this. Look at the top of that. Look at this part though. If I can get it to focus, you can see how jagged that edge is. Especially down here, it looks like crap. Look at this. So anyway, ABS vent shields look like poo, but Scratch looks worse. So what I'm gonna do is I have some Adapt Smart polish and I'm going to put a little on here. Try to do this with one hand. I don't know if I can work that out or not, but we're gonna try. All right, so got a little polish on there. We got a little microfiber towel here, nothing fancy. Let's see if we can remove it by hand. official answer I don't know well let's see I am not opposed to getting my little polisher out but you can do a lot with adapt smart polish so I was able to minimize this just by wiping it in these custom tempered abrasives are amazing they allow you to basically work with anything metal bare metals clear coated metal paint gel coat whatever but i am gonna have to go ahead and get my polisher because i want to completely fix this so that's what we got with adapt smart polish by hand so now i'm gonna grab my uh, little flex job and really get it fixed all right i went ahead and fixed it i didn't have a tripod my Tri tripod with my phone holder is at my shop, unfortunately, but you can see all those scratches are gone. I used my Flex. This thing is a little beast. This is the PXE 80. Super awesome. All right, Adapt Smart Polish for the win. FTW. Detailjuice.com, baby. Get you some.